Hello, welcome to the Backyard Machine Shop. My name is Mike. I'm going to start another project today. It's going to be another drill press. Um, this drill press, it's a, it's a Rockwell, let's see, 15685. Sorry, 15665. Uh, serial number is 151-4030. Uh, that means it's a 1970 model according to the serial number index that I looked it up on. Uh, this drill press I've had for, whew, I don't know, four or five years. Uh, I've actually tried to give it away three times and <laughs> this is the way I got it. Other than maybe the, the table and the um, the, the base was on the column. A uh, little story about this drill press is I was scanning eBay and noticed this little drill press come up and it was taken apart and sitting on a pallet. Looks just like this. And, uh, and it was local and it had a minimum bid of $29 on it. So I watched it and watched it. Never changed. Nobody ever bid on it. So right before the, the auction ended, I threw out a $30 bid. And I got it for the minimum bid, which was $29 and some change, I believe. I have to look it up. But I think I ended up paying with taxes $31 for the drill press. Well, I go to pick the drill press up and I drive out with my truck and um, I pull up, meet the guy. And it's a, it's a local business here. Actually, it's a state-run facility. And uh, meet the guy. He takes me over to the drill press. And uh, it's sitting on a pallet. Well, I get to looking around. And there's machinery all over the place. There's, uh, you know, this stuff just sitting all over the place. And I asked him, I said, well, when's the rest of this stuff going to go up for a bit? He says, what do you mean? You bought it all. I said, oh. So... In the package deal came this drill press. Also came my Sailor Bill air compressor, my five, uh, three horsepower air compressor. It was a, um, and I'll throw some pictures of the stuff up because I've restored or either got restored or either got all the machines working or have traded machines and, and things like that. So I'll throw up some pictures of everything. But anyway, it was a drill press. It was my air compressor, and that replaced a Craftsman that was noisy. Um, it was a Delta Rockwell wood metal bandsaw, um, and a 14 inch uh, Baldor grinder. So nice Baldor grinder. Everything had been sitting outside for for years, it looked like. It probably had been sitting outside for three or four years, and everything was full of water and. I still don't know about this drill press, and I take it apart. We'll find out what all's in it. Well, anyway, I rebuilt the, I rebuilt the, uh, the bandsaw. The air compressor it had a cracked flywheel on it, so I, I purchased the flywheel, got it going. Um, the 14-inch grinder, I traded Keith Rucker the grinder for the 16-inch Newman planer that you've seen in the, uh, in the shop tour video. And I think Keith actually did a couple of videos using that 14 inch grinder. So, and he's got a little story with that too. But anyway, all of that for like 31 bucks. So, like I said, I tried to give this drill press away. I'd show somebody the pictures of it and never hear anything else from them. So, I, 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 I think it's just right for me to rebuild it and uh, get it going again since it brought me to good luck with the other machines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking this thing apart and I'll break it down in some sub assemblies and I'll just do most of that off camera. It uh, looks like we're going to need some, a couple parts uh, machine so that'll be a good part of the video. And um, but anyways, I'm going to break it down and I might come back with, when I get the sub assemblies done and when I take them apart I'll show how they come apart and things like that. So. Next time you see it, it's either going to be in, in, in tore down a little bit more, and um, and we'll go from there. So, till later.
più drei farfalloni amoroso, notte e giorno di torno girano, delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Questi bei panachini, quel cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color. Non più vrai, quei panachini, quel cappello, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. Non più drai farfalloni amoroso, notte e giorno di torno gerato, delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Fra guerrieri può far bacco, Gran bustacchi stretto sacco, schioppo in spalla, ciabla a fianco, collo dritto, uso franco, un gran casco, un gran turbante, molto onor, poco cantante, poco cantante, poco cantante. Ed invece del fandango, una marcia per il fango, per montagni, per valloni, con le nevi e salioni, al concetto di tromboni, di pandorte, di cannoni, che le porre tutti i toni, all'orecchio fan fischiar, non più vrai, quei penachini, non più vrai, quel cappello, non più vrai, quella chioma, non più vrai, quell'aria brillante. Non più vrai, farfalloni amoroso, notte e giorno di torno gerato, delle belle tornando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Delle belle tornando al riposo, Marci se tua dulcino d'amor, che rovino alla vittoria, alla gloria militar, che rovino alla vittoria, alla gloria militar, alla gloria militar, alla gloria militar.
We'll finish up day two. Uh, I'm going to apologize about the sound. Um, I bought a new camera with an external mic, and for some reason I have a problem with turning on the mic. So I know the first part of this video, there's no sound to it. So I'll, I'll try to go over what I've done. Um, I've taken apart this, the quill, the uh, spindle. Uh, still need to get the bearing off of it. But here's the spindle out of it. Basically, it just it comes in. The other bearing goes in the other side. Uh, you got a capture nut here. A little it captures the spindle. So anyway, here's the other bearing. It slides in this way. There's a a, a, a spring clip in here that holds this bearing in, and it comes out. Take off the the the, uh, the nut, unscrew the nut, and take the spindle out. So we've got that done. So next thing was these pulleys were stuck hard on these shafts, so I'd soak them for two days with with a uh, PP blaster, and uh, they still were stuck. So what I end up doing is. Um, I took and made me some uh, some hammers, some soft hammers for the, the air chisel, and uh, and basically we just chiseled them. We just uh, knocked them out. That worked good, um, except for this one. It um, actually pulled the bearings out of the out of the head, and so I ended up having to go over and uh, and press this out. Tried to press it out on a little Famco 3, and it wasn't moving. Um, I put the 20 ton, put it on the 20 ton press, put a little pressure on it as much as I was comfortable with, and it still wasn't moving. So I took it, took a torch to it, and just warmed it up, and and it popped loose. So got that done. Got done. We need to take this apart. Now I'll get this done and take it apart in order to bury it. Uh, the head's completely apart, so I'm gonna take it. And set it down here, out of the way. Uh, the pulleys are done. Set them down here, out of the way. Okay. I'll uh, leave the quill in here. So motor mounts down here. So I've got everything down there. That the uh, handle and. Uh, yeah, I may as well throw this chuck in the trash. I might play with it, but this thing here, man, this stuck hard. All right, so the next thing we're gonna cover, which will be the next video, uh, I'm gonna tear the motor down. Cause I need to get all the bearing numbers. And, I, and when I do that, I can order the bearing. So tear the motor down, uh, pull it apart, check and see what size bearings are in it. I'll do that on camera. And um, I talked about this a little bit. Uh, still not sure if I'm just going to trim this down, make it work, or make a new one. Uh, so either way, it'll be a little machine work. Other than that, this is where we stand. I think I got in like uh, four hours so far, and most of that was dealing with these pulleys. So. Till next time from the Backyard Machine Shop, so long.